Right, life is good. And um, why am I saying that? Yes, uh, the radio show in um, in that I was listening to in Portugal, I, I listened to some of the uh, UK phone-in shows, and there was a piece on Generation ZZ and their eco-anxiety. And I was hearing youngsters phoning in their 20s talking about how life really almost isn't worth living on planet Earth, how they're not going to have children, how they're getting sterilized. And I, I was actually, I actually felt quite sad. I do understand what they're saying, and I have felt like that myself at times, especially when I was younger. But what, what, is, what is absent, I think, from this debate is this idea that life is good. And where are the old people telling them that life is good? We understand. It does seem like that. And the media aren't helping you, whipping you up and smacking you down uh, with depressing and doom-laden news about the end of the world and it being on fire and at war and everything else. Um, we had that. We have had that for decades now. It is in many ways the dark side and horrible side of human society and history. And it needs to be said. Let me shout this from the rooftop of the Good Morning Portugal show. Life is still good. And even if it doesn't seem good at the moment, this too shall pass. And it may, well, it will come good again. That's my experience. I can only tell you from my experience. And uh, that's not to say people don't have horrible times and that human beings don't do horrible things to each other. But if it, I tell you what, if life wasn't essentially good, we'd have been done a long time ago, wouldn't we? If there wasn't, if, if, if hope didn't abide, if love didn't propel this endeavor, this human and cosmic endeavor of ours, we'd have been screwed a long time ago. And just something keeps us going, doesn't it? That little glimpse when you're absolutely down on your uppers and you think you can't go on. And it really does seem like that. Something by the grace of God, something happens. Uh, even I don't mean this bl uh, blithely or, or um, what's the word? Um, lightly even death itself, passing out. We are given this, we are given this uh, faculty. Sorry, this is a bit of a rant this morning uh, on Good Morning Portugal. Nothing to do with Portugal at the moment. But even in the, in the worst of pain, we pass out, don't we? Um, and in the absolute worst of times, we die. Um, and, and life continues. Love continues. Love abides. Hope abides. Life is good, um, is my... Uh, T banging the, of the of the standing on my stump and thumping the um, the, uh, uh, the the soapbox this morning. I, I just think it's not heard enough. It's it's the grandfatherly, grandmotherly energy, is it not? Grandma telling you, look, it's okay, sit down, have a cup of tea. Granddad saying, come on, let's have a drink, let's go down the pub. People who've been around the block and can see that this too shall pass and life is good and things will get better. I think young people need to hear that at the moment. So come on, you old giffers, tell them. <laughs> good morning yes look life is good thank you anna and, and we you know we i'm not saying it uh blithely or complacently it is horrible at times living is horrible at times isn't it we all know that those of us who've been around the block um but yes thank you Joao de can i get an amen yes i can from the north of portugal <laughs> absolutely uh and james uh avida eboa some someone's got to say it someone's got to say it okay thank you for your support on that i'm never sure how that's going to go down because there is a lot of evidence to suggest the contrary isn't there and where is evidence it's in that cussed argumentative mind of ours isn't it where so much of the mainstream narrative takes place in the emotional battle for the possession of the mind what about the heart 